This video is going to be a one-off. Unless you guys like the video type that I'm making. If you do, let me know and I'll make this a occasional thing where every now and then I'll upload this on a Wednesday. But anyways, other than that, videos will probably go back to normal on Monday. And I'll do the meme me challenge on Monday. So, for the past 20 years since it was first described, Eoraptor dominated the history of the dinosaurs as it held the name of the earliest known dinosaur, dating back to 231 to 228 million years ago, which is during the Carian stage of the late Triassic. The dinosaur also lived in western Gondwana, in the region that is now northwestern Argentina. It also represented the beginning of the dinosaurs, which, if you think about it, is a pretty big title to hold like some dude can just run up and take the big title off a little old Eo Raptor over there and well that's exactly what happened all around me are familiar faces worn out places worn out faces so, what is this dinosaur called? What is this small little guy that took the title of oldest dinosaur? So this dinosaur is known as Nyasasaurus. Now, I've probably pronounced that wrong, so paleo nerds, please don't butcher me. So, this dinosaur is now supposedly the new earliest dinosaur known, dating back 10 million years earlier than Eoraptor. It lived during the Anician of the Triassic period of what is now Tanzania. Back around 245 million years ago, the Earth would have looked completely different from what it was now as all of the continents were all together in a supercontinent of what is known as Pangaea. The time this little creature roamed Earth was actually just a short time after the Permian Triassic mass extinction event, also known as the Great Dying, which occurred around 252 million years ago and I might go over this in another video if you guys enjoy this video. So Nyasasaurus was around 3 meters long and 1 meter at the hip. The little dinosaur may have weighed 45 to 135 pounds. <laughs> Now the video is titled Earliest Known Dinosaur, so you'd expect me to be certain that this is actually a dinosaur. And well, to be honest, I'm not. The thing is, the holotype of Nyasasaurus is very incomplete, it's only known from partial postcranial skeleton and a right humerus. This means at this moment it's almost impossible to be certain whether Nyasasaurus is a dinosaur or a dinosaur form. If Nyasasaurus is not a dinosaur, it will be the closest known relative to the dinosaurs, which is still a very big title to hold for such a small creature. What made scientists believe Nyasasaurus is actually a dinosaur is that, well, Nyasasaurus has the right number of sacral vertebrae expected. The humerus does it also display rapid growth patterns, just like what is known from other dinosaur genre. Dinosaurs are animals that grow quickly and so a cross section of the humerus suggested bone tissue was laid down in a haphazard way which is a clear indicator of rapid growth. The bone was scanned by scientists and patterns from the scan indicated that the bone fibers are disorganized like those of other earlier known dinosaurs. <laughs> All in all, I believe Nyasasaurus was a very early dinosaur. It is still in the air as to whether it is a dinosaur, but I think it is a dinosaur due to the striking evidence from the humerus and other material that has been scanned and found. It's also really cool to have a new dinosaur discovered that was able to topple the king of being the earliest known dinosaur, the oldest dinosaur out of his 20 year reign. Which is really interesting. The fact that in 20 years we haven't found a dinosaur that is older than Eoraptor up until now. Anyways, I know Nyasasaurus was described in 2013, but I decided to do a small video on it today because I wanna try out a new style. So uh, I hope you enjoyed Please let me know if you want to see more and uh, yeah, hope you have a nice day If you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and maybe like the video. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace